recording in progress. <laughs> there we go. All right. What's going on, everybody? I want to welcome you to a special edition of the Sleeping Giants podcast with Mike and Terrence presented to you by Double TV. On this particular episode, it's a special one. Uh, we're going to have a matchup, uh, Prince versus Michael Jackson. It was an old barbershop debate, something that people talked about. I remember it a lot as a kid growing up. Um, and then just a quick story, you know, um, Prince is my all time favorite artist, uh, weird. Cause he's came, came to Montgomery, Alabama, which is where I'm from. And the night I was born, he performed and I, I know about it. Cause my dad always blamed me for being born on that day. Like, why couldn't I come a day early or a day later? So he could have went to the concert. Um, but, uh, shout out to the Purple Nation family. A uh, page that I run on Facebook. It was started by my dad, uh, special to me to uh, take over that page after he passed and post content a couple of times a week, um, giving uh, honor to the legacy of Prince. So thank you guys for tuning in. What's going on, Mike? Not much, man. What's going on? Uh, not much, man. Um, what was, uh, you know, what do you feel about Michael Jackson's legacy, man, when you was growing up as a kid? Uh, I mean, you know, icon. Uh, the music, the music videos, the dancing, the singing, and I mean, just from his youth all the way to up until the time of his death, he was, you know, one of the most recognizable artists and recognizable voices in music. So, you know, I just have the utmost respect for him and, and what he did throughout his career. Yeah, facts, man. And then, you know, they have a sister who's just, you know, her legacy is just crazy as well. You know, just the impact of of Janet and you know seeing her on on Good Times as as Penny to you know movies and she's a great actress by the way. You know as well, and uh, her catalog is is just insane. No, I agree. Yeah, yeah. yeah I might have to do it. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, we might have to do a uh, uh, Janet versus sometime as well. Yeah, definitely. figure out a good opponent for Janet. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I feel the same way, you know, growing up as a kid, uh, just, you know, thriller, everybody trying to do the moonwalk, uh, just everything, you know, and, and even just um, him dealing with years of people, you know, criticizing him and tabloids calling him wacko jacko and all that kind of stuff. I, I just think he showed a level of um, resilience and uh, just to be able to endure that as well, you know, not just the the highs, but, you know, I thought he did a good job of just navigating, you know, everything when people was basically kind of turning on him as well. Absolutely. I mean, you know, people talk about fake news and fake media and stuff. He was one of the very first people that I know of to say everything you see in print is not the gospel. Right. So. Yeah. All right, y'all. So what we're going to do, we're going to take uh, 30 Michael Jackson songs and put those up against 30 print songs. And you guys can uh, leave comments of which songs you like better. And then also um, we're going to have a Spotify playlist where uh, each song and each round would be listed. And you guys can enjoy that as well. And this is just a friendly competition. I mean, we both respect both artists. We love both guys and, and think both are icons and just have incredible um, catalogs, but you know, you know, but at the at the end of the day, you know, Prince is still my favorite artist. So, you know, we are fighting for um, respect as well. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. But uh, all right, Mike, uh, you want to start it off? All right. <clears throat> Number one, let's go uh, with the uh, the Jacksons' Heartbreak Hotel. Okay, Heartbreak Hotel, yeah. All right, um, I'm going to go to Young Prince. Um, I mean, he was just playing every single instrument and just uh, just real hungry. I'm going to go with uh, Soft and Wet. That was a song, okay. song my dad always talked about, uh, so I remember that one, so Soft and Wet. Okay. All right, so that's round one. All right, round two is on me. Um, I'm going to go with um, another classic by Prince that I absolutely love. 
a song called Do Me Baby. That's a tough one right there. Yeah. Yeah, that's a tough one right there. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to match your Do Me Baby with a... Let's go with Rock With You. Mm, okay, wow. Hey, man, that's that's a tough one. Uh, that's definitely like a top five uh, Michael Jackson song for me. So that's that's a tough one. Okay. All right, round three is on you. Uh, let's go back to the Jacksons. And, uh, I'm going to go with Can You Feel It? Mm, okay, okay. All right. Um, I'm going to go with an album that so many people love by Prince, and there's a song on there um, that I absolutely love, a song called Controversy. I'm going to go with Controversy. Okay. Yeah. Crazy album cover as well. Um, all right, so round four. Um, I'm going to go with um, kind of a provocative print on this one. I'm going to go with Cream. Okay. Ooh. Let's go. Uh, I'm gonna try to try to counter that with a. Uh, let's go a little edgy, Mike, with a uh, with the little rock and roll sound. We are gonna go dirty, Diana. Mm, okay. Okay. I like that. Hey, that's another um, another great song. All right, so round four is uh, on you. No, I'm sorry, that's a uh, four. So round five. It's on me, okay. Uh, let's go with a, uh, you know, smooth talker, Mike. You know, with the dancing and all of that. You know, let's go with uh the way you make me feel. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's a good one. All right. I'm going to go with um, my mom's favorite, one of her favorite print songs. I'm going to go with The Most Beautiful Girl in the World. That's a tough one right there. That's yeah. tough. Hey, I love that round, by the way. That's, a, that's, that's some good ones right there. Yeah, that's a solid round. Thanks. All right. It's on me. Quick recap for everybody. So round one, we got Soft and Wet versus Heartbreak Hotel. Round two, we have Do Me Baby against Rock With You. Round three is Controversy and Can You Feel It. Round four is Cream and Dirty Diana. And round five, we, uh, which we just did, was The Most Beautiful Girl in the World and The Way You Make Me Feel. Uh, round six is on me. I'm going to go with uh, Rockstar Prince. I'm going to go with Let's Go Crazy. Okay, okay. Okay, see, so, uh, <clears throat> that would have been a great one to save Dirty Diana for, but, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but we're going to switch it up. We're going to go, uh, let's go disco, Mike, and go, uh, don't stop till you get enough. Mm, okay. Yeah, I love that one. And Chris Tucker's favorite song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey man, the video was crazy for that one too. All right, round seven is on you. All right, um, <clears throat> you know Michael, uh, he was always good with you know the sing along type songs, you know the ones that would uh give you that you know kind of joyish energy, some of almost kind of choir and orchestral type songs. But uh, on the choir field, let's go with uh, the Free Willy song. Say you will be, say you will be there, or uh -huh. you will be there. All right. Yeah, man, I remember that movie. <laughs> All right, yeah. round seven for me. I'm gonna go with um another one off of Purple Rain. 
Uh, one of my favorites, I remember uh, Prince performing this song on the George Lopez show with uh, Misty Copeland, who's just absolutely amazing. Um, the Beautiful Ones. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah, it's a tough one. Uh, round eight. So me, um, I'm gonna go with um, I'm gonna go with funk, uh, Prince. I'm going with uh, Erotic City. Okay. Okay. Uh, you know we had the Jacksons, but uh, we hadn't. You know, we hadn't had any young Mike on here yet. So uh, let's go Jackson 5, never can say goodbye. Okay. All right. All right. Round nine is on you. Hmm. Feel like it might be a little early for this one. But uh, let's go ahead and do it. Let's go with uh, remember the time. Hmm. Okay. Hey man, that video is crazy. No thanks. Great video, great song. Um, it's incredible. Um, Magic, Eddie Murphy, um, so many other people's in that video, and just the whole um setup for that one was just crazy, man. Yeah, I still trip out though on the end where he's getting chased by all the guards or whatever. And he just spins around and like yeah. turns in the sand and blows. Or, like that was like yeah. I mean, and Mike's music videos are, are crazy, man. I mean, it's like films basically. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we haven't seen we haven't seen. T I mean, we've seen a few people try it, man. But the way he was just able to, to pull it off was just. Which is crazy. I don't even know artists, you know, can even get them type of budgets these days, man. You know, seven million dollars music videos and stuff. <laughs> Getting Magic Johnson and Eddie Murphy and all these people to appear in your you videos. You know, supermodels in your videos and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going with another one off of Purple Rain, man. This one is um. One of my favorite print songs, uh, not maybe not the favorite, but it's definitely, you know, if I had like a top 10 list, it would be in there. I'm going with Baby, I'm a Star. Okay, okay. That's a good one. All right, round 10 is on me. I'm going to go with storytelling prints on this one, man. This one, um, you know, we shocked a lot of people with this and uh, really had like a powerful message in it. Um, also, when he got inducted in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, this is one of the songs he chose to perform. I'm going with Sign of the Times. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's a good one. I like this song a lot. There's a lot of good songs on here, though. I think I'm going to just go ahead and do this one now so I can get it out of the way. We're gonna go with butterflies. Hmm. Okay. I love that song. Yeah. yeah. Marsha and them um Flow Tree ended up doing a version of this song too, right? Yeah, they did. And I wanna say there's a version with them and Michael as well. Okay, yeah. Yeah, incredible song. That was off of Invincible, right? Yep. Yeah. One of my favorite. Yeah. All right, quick recap. We got uh, round one, Soft and Wet, Heartbreak Hotel. Round two, Do Me Baby, Rock With You. Round three, Can You Feel It, Controversy. Round four, Dirty Diana versus Cream. Round five, The Most Beautiful Girl in the World versus The Way You Make Me Feel. Round six, Let's Go Crazy versus Don't Stop Till You Get Enough. Round seven, You'll Be There versus The Beautiful Ones. Uh, round eight, Never Can Say Goodbye versus Erotic City. Round nine, Baby, I'm a Star versus Remember the Time. And uh, round 10, Butterflies and Sign of the Times. All right, round 11 is, is on you, Mike. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to go Young Mike again. 
And this is personally one of my favorite Michael Jackson songs. I'm going to go with uh, Got to Be There. Okay. All right. I'm going with, um, I'm going with like a, you have to really be a Prince fan to know this song right here, man. But this song is, this crazy song. It's called Money Don't Matter Tonight. Love that song. Okay. All right. So round, round 12 is on me. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and drop one of those missiles. Uh, I'm going with Diamonds and Pearls. Yeah, beautiful song, man. Yeah, that's tough right there. It's a couple of different ways I can uh, combat that or at least attempt to. <clears throat> I think I'm going to switch tempo, though. Um, that's kind of like a ballad. I'm going to switch up the tempo on you. And I'm gonna go with PYT. Woo! Yeah, that's another um that's another one. If I had a top ten list, hell that may even be top five. That, that's 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 crazy. Crazy right there. Yeah. All right, round 13 is on me. Um I'm going back to Young Prince. I'm going with uh he performed this song on uh, American Bandstand. I'm going with Why You Want to Treat Me So Bad. That's tough, too. Yeah. That's tough. <laughs> um, we're going back to Disco Mike. Uh, off the Wall album. I'm going to go with I Can't Help It. Okay. That's another good one, man. You know, I was younger, man. I used to always kind of... I was younger, I always kind of felt like um, Off the Wall was a better album, you know, than Thriller. But when we was going over this, um, this Versus, you know, I was like listening to a lot of Mike and going through his catalog and I don't know, man. I mean, even though I love I love Off the Wall and um that really established him as a solo artist. But man, Thriller got some some bangers on there, man. I mean, it's all-time selling album, you know, most sold album of all time, but them cuts on there are kind of crazy. So I always kind of go back and forth about which one I think is better. But I don't know. I think maybe the way I feel now, and I listen to so much music, I may lean towards Thriller a little bit. No, I feel you. Uh, I used to debate the same thing, but uh, I agree. I think over time, Thriller just comes out being a better album, but I definitely think Disco Era, Mike, like when he was on Off the Wall, he, to me, nobody was touching him in that line at that time. Right. So. Yeah, right. Right. All right, round 14 is on you, man. Hmm. Uh, mama say, mama say, hamaku say. I'm going to go with want to be starting something. Hmm. Okay. That's crazy. All right, I'm going to go with a song Um, and my dad just always was, was crazy about uh, I'm going with Lady Cap Driver. Okay. Lady Cap Driver. It's a crazy one. All right. Round 15 is on me. Um, this is crazy song um, off of uh, Purple Rain that I love. Um you know, the scene was, was crazy and um, it was kind of being funny in the Morris Day in the movie. I'm going with uh, Darling Nikki. Yeah, that's a fire one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, we, done, uh, we done done a couple Jackson 5 songs. We done the Jacksons. Let's, uh, let's bring Janet in. Let's go with Scream. Mm, okay. Man, that's another crazy one. The video was crazy. No, thanks. Yeah. 
And, you know, even watching that song, man, it was a, like an edgier mic and you know, almost kind of made you wish those two would have done a, a EP or album together or something. Would have been crazy. Yeah. Would have been crazy. Right. Yeah. I see them with, um, who knows, you know, with um, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis would have produced it or somebody, but it, it would have been a crazy, um, crazy album. No, I agree. Yeah. Uh, quick recap. Um, Soft and Wet, Heartbreak Hotel, Round 1, Round 2, Do Me Baby, Rock With You. Round 3, Can You Feel It, Controversy. Round 4, Cream versus Dirty Diana. Round 5, The Most Beautiful Girl in the World versus The Way You Make Me Feel. Round 6, Let's Go Crazy versus Don't Stop Till You Get Enough. Round seven, you will be there in the beautiful ones. Round eight, never can say goodbye versus erotic city. Round ten, remember the uh, round nine, remember the time versus baby, I'm a star. Uh, round ten, butterflies and sign of the times. Round eleven, got to be there versus money don't matter tonight. Round twelve, diamonds and pearls versus PYT. Round thirteen, why you want to treat me so bad versus I can't help it. Round 14, Lady Cab Driver versus Want to Be Starting Something. And round 15, Darling Nikki versus uh, Scream. Um, round 16 is on you, Mike. All right. Uh, let's, uh, something, let's do something that's going to uh, light up the block. Let's drop a uh, Billie Jean on them. Ooh. Hey, man, that's... um. That's a missile. Um. All right, I'm gonna go with a song that the record label was questionable. They was questioning Prince, especially the way he was singing it, because they was like, "What are you doing?" And it ended up being like like a hit. So he he ignored how the label wanted him to do it, and he did it this way, and it ended up being like a major hit for him. I'm going with uh, Kiss. Okay. No, that's fire. Yeah. All right, round 17. Um, it's on me. I'm going with a song that you have to really be a Prince fan to to know, but I, I love this song and I'm not even gonna lie, like I'm a huge Prince fan. This song it only hit my radar about a month ago. So I'm kind of disappointed. Like, how did I miss that one? But I'm going with uh seven a song called Seven. Incredible vocals, incredible, um, just um, the way he, he arranged it, everything was just perfect. So I, I love Seven. Okay. Uh, let's go with Stranger in Moscow, one of my hmm. favorite Michael songs. I love that one. Yeah, I love that song. How does it feel? <laughs> mm -hmm. I love the song. All right, number 18. I'm going with an uh, album that Prince did called The Gold Experience. Uh, there was a song on there called Gold. And um, another one of my, if I had a top 10 list, Gold would probably be in there. So I'm going with Gold for number 18. Okay. on you all right uh this is 19 uh you know Mike 18, had, 18 right 18 okay my bad uh so you know mike had a uh 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 philanth uh philanthropist uh philanthropic type side you know oh, yeah. he cared about the environment and kids and different things like that so uh you know and speaking on Mike's care about the environment, I think I'm going to go with uh, the Earth song. Okay. Yeah. Incredible. Okay. All right, round 19 is on you. All right, uh... You know, Mike had iconic videos, you know, uh, one of my favorite ones, uh, just because of 
just the the music and uh just kind of the whole 80s vibe that you got from the video i thought it was really dope but uh, i'm gonna go with beat it mm. wow another missile just uh even for the vocals come on just the music is just you know it's, it's, already, already, it's already a hit you know what i'm saying it, it, it's infectious, bro. Like, you can't help but want to tap your foot or snap your yeah. fingers or something. Right. Yeah. Oh, speaking of the Earth song, uh, Prince had an album called Planet Earth, so that's kind of dope that they uh, had that thinking, you know. Um, they beat it. It's the missile. Um, I think I'm going um, to go with another Prince hit that I love. Uh, this is off the... Uh, I want to say around the world in a day album, uh, Raspberry Beret. That's tough right there. That's a tough one. Yeah. All right. And I feel like there's one that you haven't said yet that I'm wondering. I'm, I'm going to write it down. <laughs> okay. And we'll see if you say it before it's over. All right. Okay. All right. Round 20 is on me. Um, on my Purple Nation page, you know, I post pictures, I post reels. I just started doing reels about a month ago. Um, I think the biggest reel I had gotten at one point was like 5,500, but I dropped one and it's currently sitting at 97,000 um, views. So I was about to cross over the 100,000 mark in a minute. The, the comments have been crazy, so I can tell uh babies have been made to the song so it's definitely on the list uh i'm going with a song called adore ah that's a tough one right there yeah the missiles is coming out now <laughs> yeah 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 oh uh, um okay now see uh i went with pyt and i switched tempo on you mm -hmm. last time mm -hmm. so this time i'm on kind of stay in that same kind of tempo. It might be a little bit of a tempo, but we're going to stay in the kind of ballad type range. Okay. And I'm going to go with Lady in My Life. Mm, okay. I love that one. Yeah, been sampled a million times, too. Yeah. That's um... LL Cool LL uh -huh. Yep. Yeah, uh, Trey the Truth, Swinging. It's been sampled hmm. a million times. Yeah. All right. I'm not going to go all the way back. I just re recap the last five. Uh, Darling, Nikki versus Scream. Um, well, that was round 15. Round 16, Kiss and Billie Jean. Round 17, Seven uh, versus Stranger in Moscow. Round 18, The Earth Zone versus Gold. Round 19, Raspberry Beret versus Beat It. Round 20, Adore versus Lady in My Life. Um, round 21 is on you, Mike. All right. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, it's getting down to crunch time, so I feel like, uh, you know, at this point, the missile's just going to have to start to keep it. coming out. So, uh -huh. you know, uh, man, this video, like, I ain't even going to talk it up. I'm going to just drop it. Let's go with Smooth Criminal. Ooh. You know, I know Thriller is epic, man, but Smooth Criminal might be my favorite Michael Jackson video. It's, it's epic, man. Crazy. Crazy. Um, and then the, when he does the little lean thing, yeah. like that had my mind blown for years right. until I found out how he did it. But still. <laughs> yeah, crazy, man. Crazy. Um, what was the other song? Um, if I had a Michael Jackson uh, top five video, Smooth Criminal would definitely be there. And uh, I like Keep It In The Closet, too. That video was crazy. Kind yeah, of, Naomi Campbell in there, too. Yeah, black and white. And just, well, Mike had a tank top on and kind of edgy. Mm -hmm. type thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, Smooth Criminal. That's a tough one, man. Um all right, I'm taking it back to 1982, the year I was born. Uh, to have someone singing about this in 1982 was crazy. I'm going with 1999. 
Oh, okay. Futuristic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's that's a that's a missile too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right, round twenty-two is on me. Definitely one of my top print songs here. I'm going with I Would Die For You. Yeah, the missiles is coming out. <laughs> um, this one, uh, I mean, I just really, I can't really match that one. So I'm going to just have to go with, you know, a good song and just, you know, hope that that suffices. And I'm going to pull Human Nature. Hmm. Okay. Well, now nah, I sent for this one. Oh yeah, thanks. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. Another one that's been sampled a million times as well. Yeah. Great song, man. All right. Round twenty three is on you, man. On me again. Mm, since we're dropping missiles, let's you know what I'm saying? If you're gonna drop a missile, then you have to heal the world when you're done. So I'm gonna go with heal the world. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> hey man, that's uh his vocals on that was crazy. Yeah, I love that I love that song. Yeah, arguably like one of one of my favorite songs, arguably. Yeah. yeah, facts. Um all right. I hate to switch tempos. But, no, do it. You know what? I, I, no, I'm I'm gonna stay in the same tempo range. I'm gonna go okay. with uh, nothing. Nothing compares to you. Mm, okay, that's tough. Yeah, that's tough. Yeah, I know that was one that uh that Sinead O'Connor like really popularized, but. You know, definitely uh, a banger, no doubt. Yeah, facts. And that's the thing I love about Prince, man. He had like a lot of, I mean, even to this day, man, he's got so much music sitting in the vault and he wrote a lot of stuff for other artists and stuff. Um, so sometimes facts. I have a track that he thought somebody else would sound good on and just give it to him. Um, all right, round 24, I'm going to go with uh, Computer Blue. Off of Purple Rain, um, and it was one part where the instruments just went insane on this song, and it was just crazy. But uh, Computer Blue, I'm going with that one. That was tough. Uh, I, you know, uh, once again, Mike, you know, had a uh, had a knack for making songs that you know people wanted to sing along to. So, on that note, I'm going to go with They Don't Care About Us. Ooh. Man. That's that's one of my favorite. That video is crazy, too. It is. Well, he caught a lot of flack from people, and, and he was real. And that's probably one of the most aggressive Michael Jackson songs. There is, man, but that, that song is incredible. Absolutely. Yeah. I'll, um, I don't know about it. I don't know, man. That that round right there is, is crazy. Yeah, that's a tough one right there. All right, round round twenty five. Mm. I'm going to go with I Want to Be Your Lover. That's tough. Tough. That's the one I was waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, see, that's a tough one, too, at this point, man. We're gonna we're gonna bring some star power on on the collab side to combat that, and we're gonna go uh, 
we gonna bring Mr. Paul McCartney in on the track and go with uh, the girl is mine. Okay. Yeah, man, that's a great track. Thanks. Definitely a big collab at that time as well. Right. Yeah. Um. All right. Quick recap from twenty to twenty-five. Uh, twenty is Adore versus Lady in My Life. Round twenty-one, Smooth Criminal versus nineteen ninety-nine. Round twenty-two, I Would Die for You versus Human Nature. Round 23, Nothing Compares to You versus Heal the World. Round 24, Computer Blue versus They Don't Care About Us. And round 25, I Want to Be Your Lover versus The Girl Is Mine. Um, Round 26. All right, man, we don't have too many more. Um. So we got to just start dropping them. Go ahead. <laughs> um, um, give me a second. I'm going to... Make sure I um I'm comfortable. Um take your time. All right, let's go with um let's go with scandalous. Okay. I think I'm going to go back to Young Mike. And uh, let's go with uh, Who's Loving You. Hmm. Love that one. Yeah, fire. All right, man. 20. 27 is on you. All right. Um, we're going to stay with Young Mike. Uh, you know, a uh, song was sung uh, by a lot of people, a lot of different people uh, throughout musical history, of course. But uh, I think one of the best versions and probably my favorite version of the song was sung by Mike. And I'm going to go with uh, I'll Be There. Ooh. Wow. Incredible. Um, I'm gonna go with a song with um a song that Prince wrote for somebody else, but there's you know versions and album versions of, of him doing it. I'm gonna go with a song uh Sex Shooter. Okay. I'm thinking that's Apollonia Six who wrote that for him. I'm gonna go with Sex Shooter. Okay. All right, round 28 is on me. Can't hold it back no more, man. We are going with the song that is just, you know, insane. I'm going with Purple Rain. <laughs> He's got Purple Rain on me. Oh. Um, all right, uh. Man, I don't know how everybody's going to feel about this, but I personally feel like two completely different songs, obviously, but just in, uh, in if we're talking about the idea of the impact and, and just how much those songs were, were loved and respected, I'm going to go with uh, Man in the Mirror. Mm, okay. Wow. Incredible. That's tough. That's, that's two iconic songs, man. Thanks. Good. Good one. All right. Round 29 is on you. Uh, I don't 
kind of like the same thing uh, as a couple of the ones that I've done recently. Let's go with uh, let's bring in Star Power. Like, let's look at the fact that Mike did write this song along with uh, Mr. Lionel Ricky, who is an icon in his own right. Another possible uh, candidate for a versus that we could do. Um, I'm going to go with We Are the World. Mm. Um. Good one, man. Yeah, that's tough. Yeah. Um. Um, all right, I think I'm going to go with, um, I think I'm going to go with another song that Prince wrote for somebody, um, uh, and like I said, it's versions of him singing it, so it's not like um, it's out of the realm of using. What well, a song that he wrote, wrote for uh, a lady that I adore. I, I think she's incredible. I think she's uh, beautiful. Um, one of the baddest drummers I've ever seen before. Can play drums, timbales, congos, everything. Dated Prince. Yeah. I think she dated Carlos Santana as well. I'm going with a song he wrote for Sheila E. called "The Glamorous Life." Yeah, fire. Yeah, straight fire. Shout out to Sheila E. Man, yeah, yeah, straight man. fire. Yeah, you know she performed in Atlanta about a week ago. I mean, I really wanted to go so bad, but I, I just, um, you know, it was just a little, little bit too much for me to get up there, so I wasn't able to, uh, to make it, but. Definitely, I want to see her perform, you know, at some point. Yeah, that'd be fire. Yeah. So we're down to round 30, the last round. Um, I got a feeling what I think you're going to play. Uh, <laughs> I got to I got to pull this one, man. This is, if I had a top 10 Prince list, top five Prince list, this song here is probably number one. Um uh, I'm going with when doves cry. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a tough one. That's definitely a tough one. I'm just and, and it's funny, that's a it's ironically, that's a very interesting matchup mm -hmm. for what I have. Um and obviously I'm gonna go with Thriller. That's the one song mm. that everybody's probably expecting me to say that I have to say it yet, so that's a great matchup, though, Thriller and Windows Cry. I like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, facts. All right, quick recap of the last five. Um, I Want to Be Your Lover, The Girl Is Mine. Uh, that's 25, 26, Scandalous, and Who's Loving You. Uh, 27, I'll Be There, Sex Shooter. Round 28, Purple Rain versus Man in the Mirror. Uh, round 29, We Are the World versus The Glamorous Life. And round 30, When Doves Cry and Thriller. Yeah, great list, man. Great list. Great matchup. Um, I love both guys, man. Like I say, um, you know, Tavis Smiley told a story when um, when Prince died. I mean, I'm sorry, when, uh, when Mike died, this Prince was just struck, man. Like, he didn't. He just shut down for like four days. He was he was doing rehearsals. I think he was getting ready to go to Europe or somewhere. And um, he shut rehearsal down. He didn't come out of his room for four days. He was really affected by his death. And then when they finally went and did the tour, it was uh, Tavis Smiley and um, um, Cornell West. 
And he said Prince just talked about Michael for hours. So those guys definitely had a lot of um, respect for each other. But, you know, it was still competition as well. I mean, kind of like, you know, LeBron against Steph or KD or whatever. I mean, it's competitive on the court. But, you know, obviously, you know, the guys still have a lot of respect for each other's craft or whatever. Absolutely. They both, I think, had a mutual respect for each other's greatness. And and that's, you know, the best thing about the whole situation. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get, you know, a song from them, even though it was rumored that there was, you know, talk of possibly a collab. But uh, yeah. the, the, the mutual respect from two iconic artists, that's just great and something that we need more of. Right. Yeah, facts, man, facts. So, yeah, you guys definitely leave a comment of uh, the rounds, you know, um, Obviously, you know, um, there's some songs you wish we would have played. Let us know. I mean, I, I was debating Pop Life off of uh, Around the World in a Day, uh, Call My Name off of, um, uh, that may have been 3121, I think. Uh, Jungle Love, you know, Prince wrote that for Morris Day and them. Uh, I'm surprised Memphis. you didn't use that one. Yeah, I thought I'm about really Jungle Love. I'm surprised you didn't use that one. That's yeah, I thought surprised. about it. Yeah. Manic Monday, I thought about that one too. Yeah, another one. Yeah, yeah. I don't even think I used. I feel for you. You know, that's another one I thought about. Too. You didn't. Yeah, the, I, the, I was looking for all of them. All yeah. of them. I was for, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I was kind of surprised that you didn't use those, but you yeah. uh, you went with some stuff that uh, like you said, a couple deep cuts, some stuff that's you know just personal to you and that right. you personally like. So, like, and I did the same. I mean, obviously, I could have went with Blame It on the Boogie, uh, ABC, I Want You Back, uh, Off the Wall. And there was a few other ones that I thought about, you know. So, yeah, I think right. it was a good uh, mix of stuff, good variety, mm-hmm. and it really shows their versatility, both of them as artists, so. Right. And look, I know, you know, even for you, I know people, you know, bad, you know, is one that a lot of people love, Um I know Bad was like amazing and 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 everything and you know obviously uh, Wesley Snipes was in that video. Oh, Prince was supposed to play Wesley's role in that particular video. Um, yeah, that would have been fire. Yeah, that would have been crazy. But yeah, you know, um, the video was iconic. I mean, I, I don't know the song just didn't connect for me like that. Um, even I love Bad. Um, but yeah, I know it's songs people wish both of us would have played, but, but like you said, you know, we're putting it in the context of like a competition and, and, um, and yeah, you know, and then also what connected with us as well. You know, if I could go back and, and cause I just thought about this, if I could go back and repeat when I played the girl is mine, I might would have switched that one out and went with, the. Uh, you are not alone, even though that's not one of my favorite Michael songs. I know it's very popular. So yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. You know, especially with Lisa Marie just recently dying and you know, the video was real um, you know, passionate and stuff. And yeah. Risque, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, you guys definitely check out the uh Spotify playlist that we're gonna have. And you know, we'll probably throw a couple extras on, on the back end as well. Um, you know, for the for the matchup, but yeah, rest in peace to Prince, rest in peace to Michael Jackson. Uh, both are legends, and you know we love both of them. Uh, give everybody your your social media, Mike. Yeah, it's uh M one C C H three C K. Oh, I'm sorry, M one C underscore C H three C K, and that's on Instagram at Mike Shea. All right. And you can check me out on Instagram as well. Terrence Hill, the great, uh, be sure to, uh, you know, subscribe to this particular page, uh, double TV media and uh, purple nation family. I thank you guys for tuning in as well. Uh, we're definitely going to um, keep, in, you know, the page is growing. I mean, it's like, this takes up at least an hour of my day trying to respond to comments and, and um, you know, stay on top of that. But uh, you know, we appreciate you guys for tuning in. And uh, yeah, we're going to do, yeah, this is fun. So we're going to find more matchups of, um, you know, maybe albums we can put up against each other. 
um, artists we can go against each other. And we even talked about maybe even actors, you know, taking their uh, movie catalogs and putting it up against each other. So we'll have some some more shows like this. And what you guys want to see next, let us know in the comment section. Absolutely. All right. We appreciate you guys for tuning in to the Sleeping Giants podcast. We'll see you next time. Take care.